bar. He doesn't want us to hear the background. No, that, that's, that's she works hard for her money. It's a picture behind. I'm not plugging them. I'm just, Susie and I went out to eat for the first time in a year. In Miami? That's... No, no, we went to Shiloh's. It's oh. open. It is magnificent. I thought that I was in Italy. It's outdoors, but they- Were you pickpocketed? It's just, it's a beautiful ambiance with trees and lights. It, it, it was really- Where is it, in their parking lot? In their parking lot, but you- Well, so is Pat. You Pat's never want this to go back into the restaurant. This should be the way it is forever. It's big. Unless we live in Texas. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's freezing, freezing in Texas. It's <laughs> like a hundred degree cold weather, you know? Hundred year cold weather. Uh, in Texas. Saying, it, it is so beautiful there. But you, sh you should go to Pat's also, Pat's. Yes. Um, I have to, by, by the way, I have to explain more things in English. One of my patients, uh, who's been a patient for many years, says he signs on and listens to the Dafyomi. Wow. And and uh, I'm not sure exactly which where he's finding it on which of the formats, but he says, and then sometimes I go into Hebrew and I don't explain the Hebrew and he's lost. So I gotta be careful. <laughs> we have to make sure that we, I said, listen, most of the people who are in the Duff, in the in the daily shear are very familiar with with Talmudic terms, but we don't realize that. Uh, so if you if you catch me, try to remind me to be more explanatory. So we're on Psachim, Pechas eighty eight. That that Omer Ula Omer Kadei Shiyochlu Tmar Miyaska Betoyra. They add, why they were the Jews exiled to Babylonia? Because there's a lot of dates there and dates are cheap and they nourish well. And therefore it was easy to become a, you know, about, a, a, they didn't have to work very hard. Remember, working hard leads to less Torah because you got to spend more hours making a living. So if, if they, had a, you know, they had a food that was very nourishing and very cheap, they could, it, it promoted uh, the an ease of learning Torah. Ula Ikhlan Pumbadisa. Ula visited Pumbadisa. Ula was one of the Talmidim of Rav Yoichlan, who used to travel from Eretz Yisrael to Bavel and vice versa. And back, he would bring the various halachas from Eretz Yisrael to Bavel and vice versa and go back to Eretz Yisrael. He went back and forth, back and forth. So one of Ula's visits to Pumbadisa, Krivule Teridna Tatamri, they brought him a, a Basket of dates. Armelu Kamakiani Bezuza. How much, how many dates can you get for Azuz? Azuz is like a trifle amount of money. Armele plus Bezuza. You get three, three of these buckets or baskets of dates for Azuz. Omar Melot Sina de Dufsha Bezuza. Wow, all of this, these dates for just Azuz. Uvavloilo Askebo Raisa. And the and the Babylonians. Obviously, they're not learning enough Torah. They, they, they have such a great food. It's for so cheap. He was negative about them. However, he ate of these dates. And then he had like a, a gastrointestinal problem because of the dates. He realized it's not so easy to eat dates. This sort of uh, elixir of death that you can buy for a zuz and bov and ubabloy aske boraisa and wow and look how much Torah they learn he 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 saw it exactly the opposite way. Vom rabelozer, my dichsiv, because we were talking about the various psukim in the Novi Hoshea uh, that talked about either exile or that the Jewish people are going to be remembered by Hashem. So the Gemara quotes a pasuk in Yeshaya, "Vahalchu amim rabim." A great multitude will come, or will go. V'armer lechuv and alal har Hashem. Let's go up to the har Hashem, el beis eloke Yaakov, to the house of the God of Jacob. And the Gemara wonders, why was it called beis eloke Yaakov? Okay, Yaakov, Lolo, Kavram, Yitzchak. 
Ella. It is the terminology used to, def to def describe the house of God. Because the word bias was used. It said, Beis Elokei Yaakov. Loka Avram Shekosu Bohar. When Avram referred to the Beis Hashem, he called it a harsh. And Amar, Asher Yeyamer, by the Akedah, it says, Asher Yeyamer Hayom, Behar Hashem Yeyra'er. It will, it will appear at the mountain of God. Mahara Maria was referred to as a heart. And the Loki Yitzchak, Shekasuv Bosodesh, Shen Amar, Vayetzei Yitzchak Lasuach Basodesh. Yitzchak went out to Davin in the field. That field was Hara Maria, but he referred it to it as a field. We can go into a whole discussion why by, why by Avram is it called Har, why by Yitzchak is it called Sodesh. That's not for now. Eloki Yaakov, Shekaro Bayis. Yaakov was the one that called the base Hashem by his Shemar, Vayikra et Shem Makom Hahu base Kael, and and so that's why it's called base El Yaakov because Yaakov was the one who referred to it as a bias. Am Rav Yechna Gadol Kibbutz Galios, great is the ingathering of exiles. Kayom Shenivru Boshemay Varts like the day that heaven and earth were created. Shemar, Venik Bitzu Bnei Yehuda the Sons of Jehud of, Ju of Judah will gather, Uvnei Yisrael Yachtov, the the children of Israel together. The Samolahem Rosh Echad, we'll give them one leader. This is a this is a, a, a pasuk in Hosea. The Olam Aretz, and they will come from all the four corners of the earth. Kigadol Yom Yisrael, Yom Yisrael is the ingathering day. Ksiv, Vayer Vayvoker Yom Echad. So it says Rosh Echad and Yom Echad. So that's the connection as to why the ingathering of the exiles is considered like the creation of heaven and earth. Okay. Then we go back to analyzing our Mishnah. If an orphan had two managers or two executors of the estate, so the Yosom could eat from wherever he wanted. Well, again, Shmamino Yesh Breira. If after the fact he's choosing, then it's Huvra Dorma Freya that the Shkita was done for him. On Rav Zer, no, Sela Boyis, Mikomokom. When the Pasuk says that Ish Bala Bayis Yikachen and Luchob Ne Beso, that means when you Shech the Korn Pesach for your minor children, you don't bechlal even need their das. That's why it makes no difference. He could choose where he wants because both would be effective with, with, without his das. Father can shech the korn pesach, having in mind his minor children. And or his eved or shifcha knani. And they are not independent people. They are both depend, both Ketanim and Avodim are dependent on the master. And therefore, you don't need their knowledge. You can shech the Korban Pesach for them. Aval. He can't shech for his adult sons and daughters or an Eved Ivri or an Ama Ivriya because they are independent. In all these cases, unless they agree to it, they can refuse if they don't want it. They have, you have to let them know, they have to let you know. Why, why don't we say Ish took a gufa like we say all over the place? Well, we did say Ish took a gufa by certain things. It's not a, it's not, it's not, uh, First of all, let's ask, let's hold on to that question because the more is going to go through an analysis of the Isha in a minute. We'll see what it answers what you're asking. Because remember, Ishta Kagufo is not everywhere. Um, it, 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 ha it has certain halachic ramifications in certain cases, but not everywhere. Yeah, when it comes to well, inheritance or payros or everything, it's not No, no, Ishtuk. no, no, no. Remember, the Ksuba, there's a reciprocal relation. 
a yeah. man has to provide sustenance for his wife as long as as long only as long as she gives him all of her mycelium. But they can make it tonight. She keeps her mycelium. And no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't referring to that. I was referring to that if her father leaves her in Yerusha. So no, what, what, what I'm saying, Ishto Kagufo, it, it's not. In, it's not a general rule. That I agree. Okay. It's not, that's what I'm saying. It, it, she can have her independent. And and for example, what Walter was saying, if if she inherits Nichse Malug, right. so let's say her father gave her big estates, they belong to her. The goof belongs to her. The husband can eat payros. But because, but based on that, he has to redeem her from pirates. He, there's a reciprocal relationship, and if he, if she can forgo that, she can forgo some of those if she wants. Let's okay. say she's a neurosurgeon and makes ten times as much as he does. He doesn't have to, she doesn't have to give her pay, her earnings to him. She can keep them. Or if she's a lawyer, also the same thing happens. <laughs> no, and also. <laughs> Can he, he could go, for example, a woman who, who commits an Aveira. So she gets punished for it. She's an independent person. By the way, so this is a very, but this is very good. What we could say, why is it by the Korban Pesach, Ishto Kugufo? But so, so that's a legitimate question. Yeah, right okay. now, the first crisis <laughs> said that it's got to be Midaita. It, it's not just assumed that it's going to be for her, for example, she, she can protest and say, I don't want to be part of it. She can maybe get from her son more, so it's not Zuchuya. If her son can have a bigger piece, have a bigger a portion for her than her husband, so she can go to her, so it's not a Zoha for her, for her, uh, it's not a Zuchuya for her. It's a, it's a, so that her son can, would so give her more, so she'd rather go with her see, more. Let's see the next price. Tanya Yidich, lo yishchot odam lo yudeb no vitak doimen. He can't just do it willy-nilly for his adult children. Again, same story. He can do it for his minor children. These minors, now we're talking about the minors or the avodim, if they shechted for themselves and their master shechted, only yoytzim b'shel rabban ven yoytzim b'shel atzmi. Chutz min ha'isha, she'yechol limchos. An isha can protest. And say, I don't want to eat. Maishna isha, amar rava. It doesn't necessarily only mean the isha. It means isha v'chol d'damila. It means the adult children and the evidivri as well. So the Gemara notes a, a contradiction. Hagufakash. Amrit. Chutzmina Isha Shikholimchos. The Isha is different because she can protest, which seems to imply time of the machi. She actually vis verbally protested. What if she was silent? Does silent with the silence mean acceptance? So haloy machi, if she didn't protest, nafka bishal baila. That seems to imply that she's yotze without, with the husband, like what Kenny said. He took a gufo. She doesn't have to do anything else. She's silent. I vaktani reisha. Well, the reisha is the opposite. It says law yidei ishto elemi daiton. That they have to know about it, which implies hastama. If she was silent, lo nafka. So the, in, the first part of the sefer and the reisha are opposite. And for the Gemara, my elami daitan, lav da amri in. It's not that we have to. She has to say yes. It's even the stomach. That means her silence. We assume her acceptance if she's silent. La fuke hechad amr lo. To exclude the case where she actually says no, I don't want it. Then that. Then she excludes it. Ah, but what about the other part that we just learned about kulam sheshachtu? Let's say the miners, uh, the Eved if the Eved Knani is shechted and their master is shechted. The, the Mishnah said Yoitzim Bishal the Brisa said Yoitzim Bishal Rabban. They're Yoitzim only from the master because what they do independently doesn't work. That seems to imply even the Bistama, that we are silent. Ukitani, 
Yet it said, which seems to imply that with stama, it also might necessarily be a protest. Amarava, Kivan Shashachtu. There, it's not a matter of what she says. They went ahead and shechted at the Korban Pesach themselves. There's no greater protest than what the master did if they went ahead and shechted another Korban Pesach. It's clearly that they didn't want to do, be part of the master. Okay. Then it says, Eved Shoshnei Shutafin. The Mishnah said that an Eved that has two masters, Lo Yoichal Michel Shneim. She can't eat, he can't, each master doesn't want him to eat from the other. And therefore they can't eat from any of them. Rami le Ravena Savala of Nachman. Tanan, Eved Shoshnei Shutafin, uh, uh, the both masters shechted on behalf of the Yeved, he can't eat from either of them. Frank the Gemara Vatanya, there's another price that says Ratzmizelchel, Ratzmizelchel, that the the Eved can to choose. I can if he wants, I can eat from this one. I can eat from that one. Armelei Eina Sava Va'Amri La Pasya Uchma, the the kettle is black, which means he's a big time chacham. I'll explain the Sugi Masnisen where it says she, he can't eat from either. The masters don't want the Eva to eat by the other guy because he might think the other guy is better. So in cases where the masters are sensitive, the Eva can't eat from either of them. The Barais is when they don't care, and therefore they can eat from wherever he wants. Then the Meshach said, Misha Chetzer ben Choymin, somebody who was an Eved that was owned by two masters. And then one of the masters freed him. So now he's half free, half Eved. Lo Yoichal Mishal Raboy. He cannot eat from the master who still owns him. He can't eat from him. Mishal Raboy, who do Lo Yoichal? Avi Mishal Lo Atzmo Yoichal? Does that imply that he can, his, he's allowed to shech the Korban Pesach Half, half of them that's a Jew can shech the korban pesach v'atanya lo yoichel lo mishol lo lo mishol rabbi. The price implies he can't eat his own and he can't eat his master's. So depends. Lo ikasha kan commissioner we shouldn't kan commissioner chrona. Famous mishnah. We had in Chagiga, we had it in Gitten, we had in Baba Basra, we had in Erchin. Misha chetzer ev 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 chetzer ben choyim. You have a you have a a man who was owned by two masters. One of them gave him a his freedom. So now he's only owned by one. So he's half free, half slave. So how does this operate? So on Sunday, he works for the master. Monday, works for himself. Tuesday, works for the master. Wednesday, works for himself. This was a methodology that is meant economically that the master doesn't lose out because the master gets still gets worked for. But the problem is you didn't help this guy because Lisa, this guy is in limbo. He cannot marry a Shivcha Knanis because half of him is Jewish. Lisa Baschoyrin and a Yacho Shadan He can't marry a regular Jewess because he's half Eved. He bought tell from Pruervu, the world was not created to be desolate. Says Beishamai, Elim Ibn Tikkun Oilam Koifinus Raboy, the Oisoi Soi Ben Choirin. You forced the remaining master to free him, which of course makes him a full Jew. The Koyz of Stral Dama, but remember, why was a, because he's worth a certain amount of money. So what, I, you can't, you can't uh, cause the master of freedom to lose out money. So you write a star that the Evid owes the master whatever he's worth. He pays it off. And Chazor Beisilor is Kebeishamai. Basically, Beisil agreed with Beishamai. 
So it depends on whether the Mishnah Rishonah, Mishnah Achroinah, whether he can, if like the Mishnah Achroinah, of course he can shech this Korban Pesach and eat it because he's, he's a full-fledged Jew. According to the Mishnah Rishonah, you wouldn't be able to either. Mishnah. Go and shech the Korban Pesach for me. His master appoints him to do it. If the ma- if the Evid chose a goat, the master would be able to eat it. Also, if he, if he chose a sheep, yoichal. Even though, and even though he shechted a goat and the masters normally eat sheep, he, was, he didn't mafarish to him exactly what to do. So he was soymech on whatever the, whatever the, whatever it was shechted. Shochat, let's say shechted a goat and a sheep. Yoichal min arishon. You eat the first one and the second one is burnt. Shochach ma'ar malo rabbo ketzad yaseh. Let's say the Rebbe, the master had told him something. I told him shecht a goat or do a goat or do a sheep. He forgot. He should be. He can shecht either one. He makes it snai. V'yoymer. Im gidi omer la Rebbe. If the master said the goat so the gedi shalov atlesh shali. So the goat will be his. Vim tle omar li rabbi. And if the master had mentioned a sheep, atlesh shalov gedi shali. So in that way, he covers his bases. Shachach rabba ma'amar lo. Well, let's say the rabbi had forgotten what he had told them. So then, and he shechted two, a goat and a sheep. Shnem yetzin lebeis asreifa. Now, if he had forgotten only after the Zrika Saddam, then Ptur Milas is Pesach Shemi. Because the Shrit and the Zrika was done fine. If they, if they, if we forgot, he wasn't sure what it was before the Shrit and the Zrika, before the Zrika, then in Hanami they would have had to, they have to go both, and, the, and he has to go and do Pesach Shemi. So, Pshita Shachak Di Yoichal. So, why, why is that a big Chiddush that he's allowed to eat the goat? Afa Gav the Rogel Betle. We're talking about a case where normally you would eat a sheep. Then, and we also said, even though he normally eats goat, in this case where he ate the sheep, he also would be okay. If he shechted both, he eats from the first and they burn the second. How can you subscribe to two psachim? Our answer is, this is not a regular case. This has to do with a king and a queen. How could they do it? Right? Excuse me. There's a price that says you don't, you can't subscribe on two Pesachs like to back yourself up. However, this is Agrippa, the, Agrippa who's after Herod. This is in the in the 70 years prior to the destruction of the second temple. And Agrippa was very friendly with the Chachamim. He was a Roman governor. Eventually, you know, it's he's after Pontius Pilate. The Melech Malka told their servants, go and do for us the Korban Pesach. We also They did two of them. So Bo Vishal Samelach. They asked the king, what should they do? Armalam Luchu Vishal Samalka. I don't go ask the queen. Bo Vishalam Amalka. Armalam Luchu Vishal Srava Gamliel. So you see, they were very subservient to the Chachami. Bo Vishal Srava Gamliel. Armalahem Malko Melach the Daitin Kalalim. Listen, the king and queen, whatever they prepare for them, they're happy with. Yoichlum and Arisha. Therefore, they can eat from the first. Anan, we loy noichalom and arisha lom and because we can't. Be subscribed at one time to two animals. The Shuf Pamachas didn't say, here's another story about the Melech and Malka. Shuf Pamachas didn't say, Saltoba Besamid Bachayim. They found a lizard in the kitchen. They thought it was dead. The lizard is one of the animals 
that it, its carcass is a sheretz, causes sheretz tuma. So therefore, bikshu l'tame kol suda kula. Therefore, they wanted to say that the whole suda is tame. Bo v'sholos ha'melech. They went to ask the king. What are you asking me for? Chu v'sholos ha'malka. Go ask the queen. Bo v'sholos ha'malka. What are you asking me for? He's our posek. Bo v'sholos ha'malka. They went to ask Rabbi Gamliel. Armelem beisem mitbachayim roseach otsonim. He wanted to know what was the ambient temperature of the kitchen, hot or cold. Omelo roseach. The lizard is a reptile. Reptile is cold blooded. What does cold blooded mean? We are we we maintain our temperature. Not necessarily regarding and we could be in very cold weather. And we have mechanisms through shivering or cold, whatever to, to keep our temperature warm, no matter what environment we're in. If we're in too hot, we cool ourselves down through sweating. Now fish or even reptiles are referred to as cold blooded because they adopt the temperature ambient around them. Now a lizard therefore is normally is normally used to cold climate. And he doesn't do well in hot climate. So Rabbi Gabriel wanted to know, is the kitchen at this time hot or cold? It's hot. You see this lizard lying there still. You think it's dead. It may not be dead. Pour cold water on it and put it back into its environment that it likes. And it moved, and it showed it was not a, it was not dead. And therefore, the, the, the food was not tummy. The king is dependent on the queen. The queen is dependent on Gamliel. Then the Mishnah said, if the if they forgot. If, if the no, if the uh, Evid forgot what the master said, then he makes it tonight. Could be either his or hit mine. Shali, I mean mine. Masha Kana Evid Kana Rabo. It's not him. He can't have independent assets. Whatever he acquires, his master acquires. On Rabaya, Hoylech Etzlo Rog or Rogel Rabo Etzlo. He should go to the shepherd where his master normally goes. The Nichle the Kanta the Rabbe, who because he wants to make sure that the master is taken well care of. And the, the, the shepherd will be makne, one of the animals to the Evid, in a condition to say that, you know, I'm giving this to you, not to your master. That in that case, that animal, he would have been able to say shali. But shachach rabo masha amalo. But if the master forgot what he had told the Ev, then we say you have to burn both of them. But it, it depends. He forgot after zrika, but at the time of zrika, he knew which one was which. So therefore, the korbins were good, and therefore the shechita zrika was done in good, and therefore they're parted from pesach sheni. But if they had forgotten which one was which before the Zrika, therefore, even with Zrika Saddam, they wouldn't be able to be eaten. Then they'd have to do Pesach Sheni. However, some people learn this dialogue about the Baraisa, the following. They had shechted the five Korban Pesachs. The hide of these five corn pesos got mixed up with each other. And one of the hides, Nimsis Yabelas Bechod man, they found a wart of a specific type called the Yabelas, which would be a mum, which would imply that one of those corn pesos were, were puzzled. Kulan Yoitsin Lebesa Srefa. They got to take all the five corn pesos, throw them out, and burn them. However, Peturim Elas is Pesach Sheni. But they wouldn't have to go Pesach Sheni. Am Rabbi, Eloi Shanu, Elish Nisar Velach Azrika. That's only a case 
where the Zrika was done fine, then it got mixed up. And now we found the Yabelas. And now retroactively, we have a problem. But since at the time we thought everything was fine and the Zrika was done fine, they're part of the Pesach Shem. But if they got mixed up before Zrika, then it's going to be a problem to eat any of them because you don't know which one is puzzled. Then they would be Chayav Lasses Pesach Shem. And man de masli amasis and kosher can have a raisa. The one who learned this whole dialogue on the Mishnah, certainly on the Baraisa, yes. But man de masli amasis and amasis and lo would not work for the Mishnah because kivan vikshayrin inu. Because since you started off with a gedi and a tle that were kosher, there's no mum here. The iid ker havi chazi lachila. If you knew which one was which, they would have been completely roi lachila. So kamishmaya gaya. You can say that, listen, it was known in Shamayim. Which one was what? Eza bailam shakolecha vadam nit lezrika. Drain kamsul korpin. Avichain osr lo achlo. Omar ma. Upturm lasus pesach sheni. In the cases where the problem occurred only after zrika, we said in those cases they would be putter to do pesach sheni. Va ik echad lo nafik. But what one of the people, clearly the one who had the had the animal with the mum is not going to be yotze. So the more says mishum to lay but we have no alternative. Hey chilayavri, what should we do? Leisi kol chad v'chad pesach. Should we say each one of the five should bring a new animal? Komaisi chulun lazara. But then you have a problem. You're bringing chulun lazara. The arba minay avilu. Four of the five had actually done a regular korban pesach. Are well, you going to bring another one now? You're not allowed to. That's bringing chulun lazara. So maybe all five of them should buy one animal and do one korban pesach. But the four of them are not have already eaten already eaten the other ones, and you have a pesach that's not for its subscriber. Why let let each person when they had brought their korban pesach let them make a tnai. If mine was the Balmum, hide the icy hash the Nevi Pesach. That means when you bring another animal, we're talking about a case where you brought, they found out later on that there was a problem. So they bring another animal and they say like this if the Korban Pesach that had a Mum was mine, so then let this new animal that I'm bringing be the real Korban Pesach. The EDD Tom, but if my animal that I had offered before was the good one, had the icy hash and every shlomi. So let this animal be a donative offering as a shlomi. So the Gemara says, can't be. Because a shlomi has to have a chaz of a shok, has to be given to a coin. We'll figure this, yeah, we'll learn this out tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Everybody, tomorrow, 89, 8 o'clock. No, 8.30. 8.30. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, 8.30.